Hello my friends, today we're going to be taking a look at a very special pup. We're going to be taking a look at the very happy Pop Television number 558, The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. Bob Ross, and he's not alone. Oh no, he's got a little friend there with him. He's got a happy little raccoon right there next to him. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So today we have the Pop Television, Bob Ross, The Joy of Painting, 558, Bob Ross and Raccoon, final figure. As you can see here, we have a happy little Bob Ross and a happy little raccoon right here on the front of the box. Very beautiful display side here. You have those happy little waves crashing against the shore few happy little clouds and the sun shining through in the background. The same image is on the back. Bob Ross, the joy of painting. Now let's go ahead and open this happy little box and take a look at Bob Ross and the happy little raccoon. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of the raccoon is for this pop, uh, but it's a nice little addition. Very nice. The head does not move at all. Uh, it's just a staction figure pretty much, uh, but very nice paint nonetheless. Let's go ahead and put this happy little raccoon right next to Bob Ross there. Then up next we have Bob Ross from the Joy of Painting PBS television series. Uh, long running series from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. My dad loved watching this, learning how to paint from Bob Ross as I was growing up. Uh, he often had paintings of his own very similar to Bob Ross's. As you can see, 
in this painting. It's a mountainside. Uh, Bob was very famous for painting mountain landscapes with some evergreen trees in the foreground, some nice happy fluffy little clouds, and the sun shining through in the background. Uh, the paint, the paint on his beard uh, seems to be slightly sloppy. Uh, they did not take it all the way to the edge as you can see there. Uh, but overall, nice and then nonetheless. It's just a happy little mistake. Uh, not too bad. Mistakes are a part of art. Of course, Bob Ross was always seen wearing his blue jeans and either a jean shirt or a white shirt because he wanted it to look timeless. He thought blue jeans and a button-down shirt would always be timeless. People wouldn't really be able to tell uh, what decade it was filmed. Bob Ross was born on October 29th, 1942, and he did pass away July 4th, 1995. Uh, the reason for his passing away was a diagnosis of lymph lymphoma which he kept secret from the general public and he really maintained a private lifestyle in life. For those of you who don't know, before Bob Ross took up painting, he was in the military, which is why he was the original, the originator of ASMR. Uh, very soothing, very quiet voice. Uh, when he got out of the military, he swore he would never yell again which is why he spoke so quietly in The Joy of Painting. It's a very nice, relaxing show. And they really did this pop very nicely to represent Bob Ross and all he was in life. So there you have it, my friends. This was the pop television Number 558, Bob Ross, The Joy of Painting, Bob Ross, and Raccoon Vinyl Figure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Go ahead and check out the other playlists on this channel. You have a couple there on the side of the screen. And I'll see you next time, my friends. Take care.